Today marks the end of a 236 mile long journey where 30 service members over the span of four days are finishing their run for our fallen heroes. Service members from around the U.S. ran a four-day relay race called Run for the Fallen to honor all of America's fallen heroes in war. Directed by George Lutz, the race holds a special place in his heart. Well, in, in December of 2005, uh, my son uh, Tony was killed in Iraq uh, by a sniper. And out of that grieving process, I began an organization uh, to remember those families and those individuals who have sacrificed everything. The race provided an avenue for friends and family to remember their fallen heroes, as well as show support to our military forces around the world. I chose to participate in the Run for the Fallen because it was a really unique opportunity for me to give thanks to all the service members that have um, sacrificed all and, and gone before me, so it was a really great opportunity for me. The runners stopped at designated areas to present personalized flags and pay respects to waiting family members and friends of the deceased. And I look at you and I thank you very much for all you've done and all you will do. We have many more miles to run. Next year, whether I'm here or somewhere else in the world, I will run my miles. And I hope to run it for every soldier, sailor, airman, and marine, but more so for all of you that I've had this opportunity to come and say, God bless you. Thank you. To find out more information on the Virginia Run for the Fallen, you can visit varunforthefallen.org. Reporting from the Arlington National Cemetery, from the Defense Media Activity, I'm Petty Officer Matthew Halls.